Uh, we weren't entirely sure it could be done, um, which was part of the appeal of it. Vibram didn't know what to expect. I mean, they had, they had put out an RFP looking for an agency to um, show them a microsite or a website, and we came in with boards, and we just started slapping them on the wall. It was unexpected, and it was truly different, and something, we knew it was something special. Probably 30 seconds after we saw this presentation, we knew that this was an idea that was really going to going to be breakthrough, just like the product is a breakthrough product, and it, it was the perfect way to communicate the essence of the brand. The microsite, the idea behind it really came out of the, the core belief behind um, Barefoot Running, which is you are all you really need to run. But we knew we needed to present something that was special and different and unique, just like our product is. I think a, a key part of that, too, is the fact that we've We've really grown this consumer franchise on the web. You know, the web has been instrumental to how we've spread the word. I, I think our brand has been kind of at the forefront of educating people about this. And I think it made sense for us to do something really unique and powerful that we could present on the web. So if the thought is you are the technology, we thought, well, well how, what about if you are the website? Uh, we talked to a ton of production companies and there are a whole lot of different ways at this idea. Um, and Cool Fire just got it. And Cool Fire sort of understood that we were pioneering new ground here and that it was going to take a lot of R&D and exploration and trial and error. We had to test a lot of different technologies to make sure this was going to work. So, you know, the innovation started very early on because we needed that uh, level of detail to go in and film it and capture it. We did a ton of pre, you know, pre-planning and a lot of internal meetings between, you know, all, all of the departments within Cool Fire to make sure that, you know, once we're on set, that you got, that everything's being shot the proper way, and once it comes back to the the interactive guys, that this is actually going to turn into a real site. A lot of production companies we talked to wanted to do the type in post, sort of fake it, sort of shoot the people and then put the the, the type on later with the computer and. We felt that the, we really wanted to be sort of true to the idea of, of, of sort of as little technology as possible. So we worked with Cool Fire, and they were on board with this. Was, it needs to be written on the person. We want this to be as organic as possible. We found uh, Ralph Siliano, an amazing makeup artist. But he came in, uh, took the artwork that John Vogel developed, and John Vogel really gave life to the project. Beyond the naked bodies, beyond the robot cameras, it's like the whole message is in the art that's on the body. Some of it was honestly kind of a guessing game at first as far as, well, it looks good on screen or it looks good on paper, but we really didn't know how it would look at all uh, once we actually got it onto, onto the models. It, it was fun though as a canvas. I, I think you know our, our initial reaction was to try and cover the body as much as we could just because it was a lot of fun. But it took probably about 12 hours per person to apply all of the type because it's not just on the front of the body, it was on the back, it was on the butt, it was on the, the arms, it was on the hands. Um, so it, it was fun and also incredibly stressful. The unique nature of the design was one thing. From a filmmaking standpoint, it also presented some really cool opportunities. For example, we knew we were going to use motion control, but we hadn't really seen motion control used in this way to, to build this sort of level of interaction. And so we're very excited to, to explore that more. You see a lot of websites out there that uh, try to be organic or try to cover up the technology in some way. But what Nail and Viber wanted to do is really take uh, us out of being a website completely, more of being a, a truly kind of interactive film experience. We wanted it to feel like the truth more than anything. In a sense, we're, we're making an argument for barefoot running with this website and we're doing it in an artistic way. And I think our goal was for it to really resonate and tell a true story and not let the nudity overshadow the message, that the nudity really is the message. And it's, it's felt like that balance has, has been attained. 